What's up, YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to another Bald, like, Bald Mike Does Life video. Uh, I just want to say I finally, finally, finally got it. Here it is. The Acropovic slip-on exhaust for my Tarog. So, uh, of course, uh, there are several videos of this already. But I didn't see any videos out there with just the slip-on without the header. So... I thought I'd give this thing a quick start up so you guys can hear it, what it sounds like. Stop. So here it is. This is a stock exhaust on Taking this thing out of the box here, and then I'll, I'm gonna remove the baffles, and then I'm gonna put this sucker on. I didn't want to do let this run too long because I don't want this damn exhaust getting hot because with these uh, this stock one already runs pretty damn hot. So stand by, and I'll get this thing out of the box and get this sucker installed. Okay, so here it is, getting her out of the box. That thing looks good. Looky there, looky there, looky there. Um, got some more stuff down in here. Got some parts, so on and so forth. Also, looks like a little heat guard there. But uh, I just thought I'd show you guys a picture. This is what it comes like in the boxing. Pretty nice, actually, boxing right there. So I will continue to get this thing unboxed and get the old exhaust off and then get this sucker put on there so i gotta do some riding around this evening so stay tuned in guys i'll stand by okay guys so i finally got this sucker on here it looks really good um i do want to say that this was a lot bigger pain in the ass than i thought it was going to be i thought when i put it on here i didn't notice that the exhaust clamp so right here, this exhaust clamp, right there. That is a Torx. It's a T45 Torx, just so you know. So if you don't have one of those, you're gonna have to go get one like I did. It took me, you know, traffic took me about damn near an hour to go to the Harbor Freight, buy one, and then come back just to tighten one stinking lousy bolt. So. I thought I could use the original exhaust clamp. It doesn't work. I did not remove the baffles. Um, I didn't feel like drilling in because you either have to drill into these rivets or get lucky and drill from the inside of this sucker and hopefully you get the right spot. So uh, got everything tightened down. So let's give this thing a listen here. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button guys i'll be posting more videos on this thing uh gonna be going out of town for a few weeks so it'll be a little bit but anyway um i'm gonna go ride it see what it sounds like out on the road this thing is awesome it's got a great grunty brr, um air box when you hammer it and you can just hear that thing sucking in air it sounds awesome so with this exhaust it should sound pretty good i'll probably end up buying eventually down the road getting the baffles taken out and probably buying the full header as well so but uh anyway you know this is it's not too bad of insulation you got the carbon fiber here these are torques too t45 down at the bottom like i said um where the where the big difference on this exhaust is 
it is half the freaking weight, I would say, if not more. There's nothing to this exhaust, so it is way lighter than the, the, the factory exhaust, so I'm excited about that. So that, uh, and every little bit of weight savings, savings does help with these things. So anyway, guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Enjoy your riding. Be safe out there. Look both ways, guys, in the cars and stuff, so watch out for us out on the road. Thank you, guys, and God bless.